close. Shall we go and explore Sedge Meadow Teepee? It's kind of depressing, but we're here. So we're going to, this is a little pathway that leads us down. We used to go that way into the front of the, into the opening of the teepee. But it's no longer the opening. I guess it could be the opening since everything burned. Shall we go this way now? These little tamarack trees are very happy to have the rain, I think. I do hope we have a nice little plantation of tamaracks here to create shade, shelter, privacy. This is the remnants of what the fire did. chickadee over there. I used to feed them here. I guess this tree is what has caused this thing to break. Let's put it on the teepee. Hmm, I can smell my kerosene. It's just weird in here now, you know? Just weird. So let's get reacquainted with the teepee. This pole. Fell down. are not so good at. Oh, this hurts my tailbone. I'm not going to sit and hurt my tailbone anymore. It hasn't hurt for a while. So this pole here is the one that holds the hammock. And that other pole there, I think, is the other one that held the hammock. Hmm. This used to be the front door. See, there's a beer bottle. But it would have exploded, wouldn't it? So in order to fix this teepee, It's a very big job. I don't have the strength that I had to be able to... Well, I do have the strength, but I'll get worn out so much faster than I used to. Fifteen years ago when I was eagerly doing all this stuff. So we won't go in there anymore. 
I need to put a new pole here. I, perhaps that pole that's on the other side, I'll pull my neighbor and ask him about that pole, that branch. Take off the trees on this side and repair it. But I go to Georgia again soon, so it's not like it used to be when I was perpetually here. I have no car. Today I'm cleaning the house. I could do a little bit while I'm here. You know, I mean, after all, I am here. I could take off these trees on this side. Where could I put them? This one needs to stand up, but it's very uh, heavy, very, very heavy. But if I were to stand it up straight, you know, I find that the way to lift something heavy like that is to just get it up on its end, and then you can actually lift it, because all of the weight then is not on you, but it's on the ground, and you just, well, I guess it would be when you're lifting it, but it's not the same. I wonder where I can put you, where you could see. Shall we do this? All right, well, let's see what we can do. I shall put you... I shall put you right there. How's that? We're going to see this side. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get the branches. Okay, let's see if this works. One little branch. But what about this tree here? Shall we see if we can move this tree? No, no, no. You can't go to sleep now. What if I turn you around? Hmm. Okay. So you can see this tree. Okay, this is what I look like before I hurt my back.
Okay, and then I'll bring over some of these other ones here. You know, that one really, I guess you can't see. This one, this one really could be on that side and do wonders. Let's see if I can manage that. You need a tripod now, don't you? This mono thing, pod thing was fun while it lasted. There's nothing like a good old tripod. How'd I get you in there before? There, how's that? See now, if I were to lift the bottom of this. walk it around to here. That would be a long walk, wouldn't it? Good, sort of.
Daisy, Daisy. Oh, this one's going to move easily. Okay, I'm going to have to turn you off because this isn't working. Bye.